Petra Energy and Italy's Eni Inc. an LNG project deal and Dubai and Saudi Arabia launching a port-centric logistics park. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Farage. Qatar Energy has inked a deal with Italian energy from Eni to enter its $28.8 billion Northfield East expansion project, said to be the world's largest LNG project. Qatar Energy will hold a 75% stake and Eni will hold the remaining 25% stake in the newly joint venture project. The JV will hold a 12.5% stake in the entire project, including the four mega LNG trains with a combined capacity of 32 million tons per annum. The project is slated for production in 2025. DP World and the Saudi Port Authority have inked a 30-year deal worth $133.4 million to set up a port-centric logistics park at the Jeddah Islamic Port. The agreement entails building a logistics park with an inland container depot capacity of 250,000 TEUs and a warehousing storage space of 100,000 square meters. The logistics park should expand DP World's regional footprint while boosting Jeddah Islamic Port's re-export activities. The crypto industry was on edge this morning with Bitcoin struggling to hold the $20,000 range. Bitcoin, which has lost 57% so far this year and 37% this month, fell below $20,000 over the weekend for the first time since December 2020. Investors fear contagion from problems at major crypto players that could unleash a major shakeout if not contained. The price fall follows difficulties at several major industry players, while further declines could have a knock on effect as other crypto investors are forced to sell their holdings to meet margin calls and cover losses. UAE-based crypto exchange BitOasis is the latest company in the sector to cut jobs in the face of the crypto sell-off. It's laid off nine of its staff or 5% of its workforce. BitOasis was founded in Dubai in 2015. China's crude oil imports from Russia soared 55% in May from a year earlier. It's a record for Chinese imports of Russian oil and displaces Saudi as the top supplier as refiners cash in on discounted Russian supplies. Imports of Russian oil totaled 1.98 million barrels per day in May. China is the world's biggest crude oil importer. Saudi trailed as the second largest supplier with May volumes up 9% year on year at 1.84 million barrels per day. Austria will reopen a retired coal power station because of power shortages arising from reduced deliveries of gas from Russia. Following a crisis meeting of the government, authorities decided to get the station back in action, but the process will likely take several months. The aim is to be able to once again produce electricity from coal should that be required in an emergency. The country's last coal-fueled power station closed in 2020 as the government moved towards 100% renewables. French specialty vaccine company Valneva and U.S. healthcare giant Pfizer have entered into an equity subscription agreement under which Pfizer will invest $95.24 million in Valneva, representing 8.1% of its capital. The deal comes through a reserved capital increase to further support the strategic Lyme partnership between the two companies as they work towards co-developing a Lyme disease vaccine. Jurassic World Dominion again stomped to the top of North American movie screens this weekend, while new release Lightyear didn't quite make it to infinity or beyond. Universal's latest dinosaur, Fright Fest, the sixth in the Jurassic Park franchise, took in an estimated $58.7 million over the weekend. But Lightyear, Pixar and Disney's latest offering from the Toy Story Empire, earned $51 million. Ocean Paradise? No, no. White noise is fine. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.